In the past 100 years, nearly 500 species have gone extinct. And according to a report from the United Nations, more than 1 million species will be lost by 2050. Harrowing, right? Pollution, global warming, waste, biodiversity lost, deforestation, water shortage. These are just some of the many environmental issues plaguing our planet today. How did we get here? Things were quite different three centuries ago. However, since the Industrial Revolution, the concentration of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere has risen by 46%. Why? Because due to our selfish need to improve the quality of our lives, we forgot to consider the long-term consequences of our actions. So the question on everyone's mind right now is what are we supposed to do about it? Can the damage be undone? Hi, you're watching YZ. And today we're going to talk about how we can save our planet. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our channel to learn tons of cool stuff about anything and everything. Face the facts. Let's get one thing straight. There's no more time to argue about whether climate change is real or not. It's very much real and the facts speak for themselves. In the last 30 years, the number of climate-related disasters has tripled, and they're only getting more severe and destructive. In 2020, wildfires in Australia burned down 10 million hectares of land, destroyed thousands of homes, killed more than a billion indigenous animals, and caused irreparable damage to local ecosystems. The thing is, you can't point out one human activity that leads to these disasters. It's a combination of different factors that have a cumulative effect. For instance, deforestation and greenhouse gas emissions lead to higher temperatures, which in turn affect the living conditions of many species, forcing them to leave their habitats or even go extinct. Meanwhile, cardiovascular diseases, cancers, and asthma are becoming more prevalent among humans, which can also be partly attributed to environmental issues. Yes, this isn't just about climate change. Humans have caused the untimely loss of several species, such as the dodo bird, which went extinct in 1681, and the passenger pigeon, which died out in 1914. At the same time, hundreds of animals are on the brink of extinction, including the northern white rhinoceros. These magnificent creatures become endangered due to poaching, and now only two remaining representatives of their species are two females. Still, scientists are doing everything they can to resurrect their kind and grow a new generation of rhinos in lab conditions. As you can see, these aren't just some prehistoric species, we're talking about our planet's biodiversity which we have come to take for granted. And although we can't reverse this impact completely, there are still a few things we can do, or rather must do. Otherwise, we'll lose our planet by the time our generation are even born. Stick around and learn some practical ways in which you can help. The plan to save the world. As we've already established, environmental problems are all interconnected, yet most scientists agree that the most pressing issue at hand is the release of CO2 gas into the atmosphere. Therefore, our main goal is to reach net zero carbon emissions by 2050. This way, we will limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius, and thus avoid the most adverse effects of climate change. But is it really possible? Yes, as long as we seriously commit to green energy. Green energy. To do this, we must cut back on non-renewable fossil fuels and increase renewable energy at least ninefold. We're talking about solar panels, wind and hydropower, biofuel, and so on. In the end, green energy will help us kill two birds with one stone by slowing down global warming and reducing pollution. But that's not enough. We should also rethink our transportation systems. Transport. Better logistics, electric vehicles, public transit, all these things will help reduce the negative impact on our environment. For instance, if every city had efficient public transportation and bicycle-friendly roads, people wouldn't need to use cars as often as they do. The food sector also needs a major revamping. Food. Did you know that industrial meat production is the world's leading cause of deforestation? In fact, our food choices contribute to about a quarter of global greenhouse gas emissions and account for almost 60% of global biodiversity loss. The solution? 
we must produce food where it can thrive with minimum resources, stop overfishing, and decrease our reliance on fertilizers that pollute water. Speaking of, water. Fresh water is one of the many natural resources that we take for granted, but did you know that it's actually limited? Here's a little quiz to help you put things into perspective. Can you guess how much of the world's water supply is fresh, that is, not salty and safe for humans to drink? A. 3% B. 10% or C. 30% The answer? A. 3% Now, a more difficult question. How much of the water on Earth is actually available for human consumption? A. 3% B. 1% or C, less than 1%? And the answer is, unfortunately, C. Only 0.5% of the water on Earth is available for us to use. Now you can see why water consumption is a serious matter. So there you have it. The main steps we as a society must take to stop climate change. But is there anything each of us can do individually to help achieve this goal? Four things you can do. The best place to start is to reduce your carbon footprint by making your home more energy efficient. Number one, make your home more energy efficient. It isn't as difficult as it may seem. You can insulate the walls and the roof of your house to make it warmer. Invest in smart appliances that minimize energy consumption. Use energy efficient LED bulbs and make sure your windows are properly fitted to avoid drafts. All of this may take a little time and investment, but doing this, you will not only help save the planet, but also you'll lower your energy bill. Another step towards a more eco-friendly lifestyle is number two, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Remember, everything you purchase has a certain environmental impact on the planet, so be picky about what you buy. Choose sustainable manufacturers and go for high-quality products that will last you months and even years. Try to keep your stuff in good condition and get as much use out of it as possible. When something breaks, fix it. When it gets old, find some creative ways to repurpose it. And if you no longer need it, give it away to someone who does. Recycling is also important, but keep in mind that it's still an energy-consuming process. Therefore, it makes more sense to buy less and prolong the life of your belongings. By the way, here are some YZ facts of the day. Did you know that nearly a third of all food produced worldwide ends up going to waste? That's 2 billion tons of food wasted every single year. Luckily, organic matter can be easily recycled through composting and anaerobic digestion. Saving the planet is also about making lifestyle choices, and one of the best things you can do in regard to this is eat less meat. Number 3. Eat less meat Don't worry, you don't have to go vegetarian. Cutting your meat consumption by only 25% is already a good start. In fact, if every person in the US did this, we would reduce annual greenhouse gas emissions by 1%. An average meat-based diet produces about 7.2 kilograms carbon dioxide equivalent units a day, a vegetarian diet 3.8, and a vegan one only 2.9. So give veggies a try, and while you're at it, check out some dairy-free alternatives as well. If you want to eat sustainably, you can support local producers instead of large corporations and buy seasonally appropriate food. Helping the planet isn't just about making personal choices, it's also about using your voice to make an impact. Number 4. Use your voice it Doesn't matter whether you're a famous celebrity or a regular person, everyone has the power to make a difference. For instance, Leonardo DiCaprio uses his enormous platform to speak on environmental issues any chance he can, whether it be on the Oscar stage or on social media. Climate change is real, it is happening right now. It is the most urgent threat, and, and we need to work collectively together and stop procrastinating. Remember, every voice matters in the fight against climate change. Also, don't be afraid to get political. Call your representatives in government and demand that they pass green policies. Vote in referendums and support politicians who are passionate about saving the planet. This may seem like a small step, but actually it's the most significant one. After all, together, we can really turn things around. We at YZ are doing our part as well, sorting waste, using LED lights in our office, and even reducing our paper consumption. You can do it too. 
If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content about anything and everything. Thanks for watching, and until next time.